Welcome back. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I am. I'm not talking to uh, you, I'm sorry. talking to them. <laughs> <Sorry>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your priority. You, not my victim. Mis victimas. Ah, guess. They are to be seen and not heard, and they only speak when they are spoken to. Okay. <laughs> All right. Maria Jesus, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I am. All right, good. Number one. Él es propenso a salirse por la tangente. He has a tendency to go off the tangent. Eh. No. To go off the tangent sería saltar. Salirse por la tangente hasta el final y to saltar. Go. You don't say to okay. go off tangent? No, no, no. First of all, he has the, he has the tendency, is good. Tiene uh -huh. la tendencia. He's prone. Ah, he's prone to. Prone. Yes. Yes. Es propenso. Uh -huh. Tiene la propensidad. Prone. He's prone to going off. Uh -huh. On tangents. To going off on tangents. Ask me if I always go off on a tangent. Se so suele poner en singular. Uh -huh. Ask me if I like to go off on a tangent. Do you like to go off on a tangent? Yes, I do. I always go off on tangents on television. Mm -hmm. All right, is that a mathematical term or a literary term? It is a mathematical term, I think. Yes, on a circle when you go yes. around, and then you go off on a tangent. To go off on a tangent. Repeat. To go off on a tangent. Yes. Tell me not to go off on a tangent. Don't go off on a tangent. Ask me why I always go off on a tangent. Why do you always go off on a tangent? All right, very good. So, él es propenso a salirse por la tangente. He's uh, prone, prone to going on... Going off. To going off on a tangent. He's prone to going off on a tangent. Repeat. He's prone, prone to going off on a tangent. Ask me if I'm prone to getting angry. Are you prone to getting angry? Uh, as I get older, yes. I get angry more often. Mm -hmm. Ask me why. And do you, why? why do you get angry more often? I don't know. But for some reason, in Spanish and in English, we have the expression viejo cascarrabias. Yes. Se vuelven cascarrabias con la, la edad. So I think getting old is not a noble thing, okay? I think we begin to get more cranky. <laughs> this is cascarrabias. Mm -hmm. Crank is una manivela. Mm -hmm. Cranky con Y. I don't know why. But that's the word for cascarrabias, cranky. Okay. Ask me if I'm ask me if I'm starting to get a little cranky. Are you starting starting to get a little cranky? I think so. Yeah. I don't think so. Ask me if I have less patience than I used to have. Uh, do you have less patience than you used to have? Yes, uh, I do. Yes. Yeah. ¿Y cómo traducirías esto? I have fewer patience than I used to have. Tengo menos paciencia de la que solía tener. Que antes tenía, solía tener, no. Can you say it again? No, but it's not correct. Okay, lo primero. I have less patience than I used to have. Repeat. I in have Spanish. Uh, Tengo. Menos paciencia de la que tenía. Yeah, que antes tenía. Uh -huh. Okay. I have fewer patience than I used to have. That's not correct, is it? Yes, it is. Eso puede decir un médico, que le falte clientes. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the pronunciation is the same. Yes. Pacientes, tengo menos pacientes de lo que antes, uh -huh. is I have fewer patients <laughs> than I used to have, okay? All right, ask me if I would like to be a doctor. Would you like to be a doctor? A uh, doctor? I wouldn't mind being a GP, mm -hmm. a general practitioner. Ask me if I wanted to be a doctor when I was growing up. Did you uh, want to be a doctor when you were growing up? Uh, no, I didn't. Ask me if I would have wanted to be a doctor if my father had been one. Would you have wanted to be a doctor if your father had been one? I really don't know. You never know. Mm -hmm. Ask me if I'm glad I didn't become a doctor. Are you glad you didn't become a doctor? Well, yes, I'm glad because I enjoy my current profession, but you never know if you've never done something. Mm -hmm. So you can't criticize it, all right? I think I'm glad I never became a dentist. Ask me why. Why are you glad you never became a dentist? I honestly think I wouldn't like to spend six, seven hours a day looking look into people's mouths, okay? But they perform a critical function, mm -hmm. and orthodontists too. Okay, estoy orgulloso de ser miembro de esta organización. I am proud to be a member of this organization. Good. Ask me if I'm proud to be an English teacher. Are you proud of being an English teacher? No, proud to be. Are you proud to be an English teacher? Uh, yes, I am. Proud of. Cosas proud to más verbo. Uh -huh. You understand? Yes. I'm proud to be. I'm proud to be. Ask me, ask me if I'm proud of Spain. Out of. Are you proud of Spain? Of course I'm proud of Spain. Ask me if I'm proud of my children. Are you proud of your children? Yes, I'm proud of my children. Ask me if I'm proud of my profession. Are you proud of your profession? Uh, my profession. Profession. Como gremio. Not too much. 
Ask me if I'm proud. I'm proud of my industry. Are you proud of your industry? The sector? No, I'm not. Not not very much. It's uh, too easy for poor quality to penetrate into the industry. Mm -hmm. Ask me why it's so easy for poor quality to penetrate into my industry. Why is it so easy for poor quality to penetrate into your industry? Uh, because the entry barriers are very low. It doesn't require an important investment to enter mm -hmm. the industry, the sector, and to compete. And then the client, and that, it's a vicious circle. How do you say circle vicioso? Vicious circle. It's a vicious circle, <clears throat> and so uh, it, it creates low quality, mm -hmm. okay? So I'm not proud of that, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, ask me if, if I'm uh, proud of my <clears throat> students on television. Are you proud of your students on uh, television? Television. I don't know yet. It's too mm -hmm. early to tell. Okay, to tell is saber aquí, no es realmente decir. Mm -hmm. Demasiado pronto para saberlo. Did yes, no, en castellano? Yes. Okay. It's too early to tell. No decimos lo, okay? It's too early to tell. If they make an effort, if you make an effort and you help me institute a, a noticeable change, digno de titulares de prensa, ayudadme, por favor. Yes, politicians now are talking a lot about changing the level of English. Suddenly, suddenly everybody is talking about English, okay? Now for the past three or four years through radio and television, I have been saying these things and now suddenly it's popular, it's in fashion. Everybody's saying the same thing. It's not easy to make a change, a major change to turn this country around. When I turn around as I say, to turn over is cuando es horizontal. Cuando es vertical is to turn around. And to turn this country around in matters relating to the English language is not easy. It's going to take a long, 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 long time. And this television program and this channel and other efforts uh, through media platforms like radio, cell phone technology, and other ways of reaching massive audiences is very, very good, but it's not enough. Uh, the government will need to work very, very carefully in uh, education, especially primary and pre-education and in primary, because the age, the critical, critical moment for language ac acquisition is from age zero to five, zero to five. After that, el ave ha pasado y solo está el tren de mercancías, o el rápido, okay? That's the only thing left. So if you miss from zero to five, you only have a 60% optimum performance after that. You've missed, you've lost 40% forever if you don't approach the question between age zero and five. And that is not a rational, logical way of teaching. With teachers, it's different. No, that is exposure to the music of the language together with Spanish to, in, to surround the little, little children with the sounds of two languages. Spanish they're going to have from their parents, their friends, their neighbors, their brothers and sisters, their grandparents and, and all other types of media that's bombarding them in Spanish every day. But you have to reserve a couple of hours on the average every day of English. And even if the children don't pay attention to this English, they're playing with their toys on the floor but the noise of the language is near every day for an average of two hours a day, they will reach age five understanding the language quite well, okay? So that's where they have to work, okay? And our job on Imprint Inglés TV is to help you improve your English, but at the same time, make the country more aware of the need to address this deficiency, to address, no es dirección, no señas aquí, my address is in Madrid, but to address, como uh, verbo, es abordar, o dirigirse a, físicamente, con both. I'm addressing you. I'm addressing you. Okay? Me estoy dirigiendo a, a vosotros. But to address a subject is abordar un tema. Okay, al abordaje, en este caso. So we need to address this subject. Okay, Marisus, are you ready to yes. continue? Mm -hmm. Fue una decisión prudente y sensata. It was a, a 
reasonable. Prudent. Prudent and reasonable. Sensible. Sensi sensitive. Sensible. Oh yes, sensible decision. 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 It was a prudent um, and sensible decision. That sounds yes. good. Ask me how I would say it. How would you say that? How, how would you say it? I would say that was a wise decision. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, but don't worry. You see, a wise decision, fue una decisión sabia, mm -hmm. for me sounds a bit strange in Spanish because it means sabiduría. Whereas we use wise in English in two ways. Wise como un sabio. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also prudente y sensato, All bien right. pensado. Do mm -hmm. you understand? Yes. So wise, acertado, uh -huh. por prudencia y sensatez. No simply acertado porque, boy, he acertado, wow, que bien. No, wise. Ask me if I make wise decisions. Do you make wise decisions? Decisions. Decisions. I make decisions and they end up seeming wise. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. Okay, I make decisions based on a lot of um, experience, mm -hmm. okay? And then followed up by hard work. Now, if you make a decision, and you follow it up with hard work and effort and passion, that decision often ends up being wise. Do you understand? Yes. And people say, well, you make wise decisions. <laughs> no, I don't. I simply make decisions, which many people don't, uh -huh. all right, and then act resolutely to carry out those decisions. And then people say, what a wise decision you made. No, 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 no. The secret is in the- Hard work. In the hard work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. como la, el servicio post venta, pues el servicio post decisión. <laughs> that is, make the decision successful, mm -hmm. you say. Mm -hmm. All right, so the next one. Quiero ver los datos en su estado, digamos, bruto. I want to see uh, the data in the rough. The raw data, raw. You see, raw, crudo. Mm -hmm. Ah, the raw data. Yeah, the raw information. Uh, listen, what happens many times, in business especially, is that the, the chairman or the managing director or the chief executive mm -hmm. officer or the general manager receives reports. And if it's, the general manager is good, really good general manager with a lot of experience, the general manager looks at the report and says, okay, yes, interesting report. Um, this information, uh, could I see some, ex uh, some examples of the raw data you used to put this, this report together? Mm -hmm. Because a report can give you, it's, the, the data has always been, already been processed, mm -hmm. okay, by other people several times. And some of those people maybe are personally interested in a certain decision being made. Mm -hmm. So you need to be careful. And a good general manager can say, I want to see the raw data. Raw, como la, los datos crudos, o sea, antes de cocinar. En estado puro. En estado puro y bruto, we say, okay. So uh, that happens. Mm -hmm. And the biggest, the, probably the best example of that was the, the Vietnam War. Uh, the reports uh, that operatives, that members of the CIA, la CIA, Green Beret, Las Buenas Verdes, you know the Green Berets? Mm -hmm. Have you heard of the Green Berets? I have, but... Uh... Okay. The Green Beret were basically the operation arm of the Central Intelligence Agency, mm -hmm. the CIA. And they're tough guys who go to the to the battle, and they observe, they fight too, and they report. Mm -hmm. And that goes through about seven different layers. How do you say capas? Layers. Before it reaches the Oval Office, mm -hmm. okay, of the president. And depending on the personal agenda of each person on the way up, it's like whispering a story through 10 people, and it ends up the story is totally different. Mm -hmm. And for a general manager with reports, basing your decision making, you need to know the, the business. You have to have a certain sense of smell for the business and also the experience to know that this, something, this can't be true. Mm -hmm. This can't be right. And then you ask for the raw data. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Learning new things today. Yes. Okay. Okay, es tranquilizador saber que Pepe está llevando el proyecto. It's reassuring uh, to know Pepe, uh, Pepe, Pepe is running the project. Yeah, pero quiero lo that. Uh, it's it, reassuring to know that Pepe is um, handling handling uh, the, the project. Of course, very good with the project. <laughs> yes, it's reassuring. Ask me if I felt reassured when I learned that you were coming today. Did you feel reassured when you learned 
I was coming today. No, I thought, oh no, <laughs> phonetics class again. All right. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> no? Well, do you feel mistreated? No. You don't? No. Okay. Ask me if I mistreat my students. Do you mistreat your students? No, I don't. Okay, I don't mistreat my students. Outsiders think I do. All right, <laughs> no, it's interesting. Don't. Ladies and gentlemen, do you feel I'm treating her badly today? It's interesting. On television, people don't say that, but when they hear me on the radio, they get angry with me saying, que maltratais o tratas a tu, tus víctimas. Okay, well, you treat your victims very badly. But you see, on television, it's not true. I pull their leg, yeah. <laughs> but they pull my leg, too, sometimes, okay? No. You don't. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Some of my victims do. Okay, es tranquilizador is reassuring. It's reassuring to know that you're, you, you're coming. Was I reassured? <laughs> uh, no, you already said it. <laughs> no, I was. Uh, I, no, I was thinking your your English level is too good. All right, es refrescante recibir buenas noticias por una vez. It's re uh, refreshing uh, to have to receive to receive good news. Para variar. Uh, for a change. For a change. Ahí está. Por una vez. Oh, finally, for a change. I'm so used to receiving bad news that finally this morning I received good news. My God, I got a telephone call. Uh, from one of, uh, of uh, the employees in the organization, they said, Richard, we have collected a bill, an outstanding invoice from seven years ago. I said, yes, yeah, how much? Two million dollars. My God. So, well, wow. <laughs> it's more than refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, bro I broke out the champagne. <laughs> yes. All right. To an celebrate. outstanding debt. How do you say when a deuda pendiente de cobro? An outstanding debt. ¿Y cómo dirías una deuda sobresaliente? Fantástico. Pues sería lo mismo. Yes. Outstanding. Uh -huh. Outstanding, it comes from the verb to stand out. Mm -hmm. Okay, to stand. If, if, if you have 500 people standing in the street, in the middle of the street, okay, all of them are 1 meter 77, mm -hmm. okay? And in the middle you have... Fernando Romay, <laughs> or Pau Gasol, he stands out. Yes. <laughs> El destaca. Mm -hmm. So to stand out is destacar o sobresalir. You understand? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, so. Outstanding is sobresaliente. Mm -hmm. Porque sobresale. Mm -hmm. O destacante, okay? Destaca. Okay? Now, outstanding, también en deudas, es, son las deudas que aparecen, anda, pues no, no está pagada. Mm -hmm. No está saldada esta deuda. Queda sobresale por falta de pago, mm -hmm. o monosidad. Outstanding debt. Outstanding uh -huh. debts. That's new for me. It's new. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because it's a world of business. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's a world of accounting and finance, mm -hmm. outstanding debts. You need to collect your outstanding accounts, mm -hmm. or your outstanding debts, okay? And it's not very pleasant to say, uh, hello, Mr. Smith, listen, I'm calling you about your outstanding bill uh, that you ha that uh, the invoice from January of two years ago. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, we need you to pay it, please. Okay, and they try to find ways not to pay. Some people. <laughs> All right, so it's refreshing. Fresh is fresco. Oh, no, look, fresco is refreshing. Uh, mm -hmm. It's refreshing to know that um, it's refreshing to receive some good news for a change. Ask me if I usually receive bad news. Do you usually receive bad news? Uh, no, I usually receive good news. Uh, well, ask me what I prefer. When somebody says to me, uh, I have some good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Which one do you uh, want to hear first? The, the bad, bad news. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you? Yes, the bad news. The bad news. Okay, tengo una noticia para ti. ¿Cómo se dice? I have some news for you. Very good. All right. So, tengo unas noticias para ti? I have two pieces of news for All you. right. But really, I have some news. I have some news. And you, always, well. I have uh -huh. some news. I have some news for you. Okay, hemos conseguido algo extraordinario. We've... Uh, um, We've achieved? Achieved something extraordinary. extraordinary. Yes, extraordinary. Extraordin but there's a, there's a much more common word. Out, uh, no, outstanding? No. Outstanding is okay. We've achieved something outstanding. Hemos logrado algo oh, sobresaliente. Uh -huh. Está bien. Pero no se suele decir. Extraordinary, we've achieved something extraordinary is correct. Uh -huh. But probably we would say that 5% of the time. The other 95 is reserved for another word. You awesome. don't know what? Awesome, no. Awesome is for kids. 
<laughs> awesome. We've achieved something remarkable. Ah, yes. Absolutely remarkable. remarkable. Yes. Remark. To make a remark is hacer un comentario. A veces con acidez. To make a remark. Mm -hmm. Yo no, agradez, no aprecio esos comentarios que, que has hecho. Son muy ácidos contra mí. I don't appreciate that remark. Okay? Mm -hmm. For example, if you say on television, Richard, uh, all, really all English teachers are teaching us simply because they don't know how to do anything else. All right? Those who can, do. Those who can't, teach. All right? Mm -hmm. I say, well, I don't appreciate that remark. Mm -hmm. So a remark is un comentario con, con dardo. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. All right. So it's a comment. It's a comment. A comment, in English, a comment is neutral. It can be a good comment and bad comment, but it's neutral. A remark has a dart. Okay, and I don't appreciate that remark. Now, remarkable is totally different. Remarkable means extraordinary, fantastic. Your progress has been remarkable, Marisus. I am so impressed. I can't believe it. I am tru truly surprised and very pleasantly surprised at, at or with or by Los tres proposiciones valen. I'm surprised by your success. I'm surprised with your success. Or I'm surprised by, by your success. And so uh, that's, it's been remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Okay? Mm -hmm. so, so a remark and to remark is simply a commentary. Señalar. No, to remark. I, don't want, I, have some, I want to remark that just to make a comment. Mm -hmm. All right. Pepe es una persona que hace bien lo que se le encarga. Uh, Pepe is a reliable person. Person? Per person. <laughs> Pepe is a reliable person. Ask me if Marco is a reliable floor technician. Is Mar uh, Marco. Marco a reliable floor technician? Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Ask me if Luis is a reliable mixer. Is Luis a reliable mixer? Yes, he is. Ask me if David is a reliable sound technician. Is David a... Uh, David con uh, no. con uve. Is <laughs> David... <laughs> A remarkable... Remarkable? No. no. Reliable. Oh, sorry. <laughs> is the, David a, a reliable sound technician? Yes, Or he mixer? Is. I don't know. No, sound technician. Uh -huh. You see, reliable is una persona que hace bien lo que se le encarga. Igual que cuando pulsas el freno del coche, para, el coche para. Uh -huh. Si no, tendrías un gran problema. Uh -huh. So de los yes. frenos tienen que ser reliable. Uh -huh. Reliable means fiable, pero fiable en el sentido de que sigue o... Oh, Actúa según las especificaciones. Y las especificaciones mías es enseñar bien. Am I a reliable English teacher? Yes, you are. All right. And this cup is reliable. I pick it up and the water remains inside and it doesn't drip out. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> so it's reliable. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the table is reliable. I put things on it of certain weight and the table doesn't collapse. So the table is reliable. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, Pepe is a person who does well what he is charged. Pepe is? Is a reliable person. 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 Si es reacio a llamarles. I am reluctant to call them. I am reluctant to call them. Yeah. Honestly. I am a bit hesitant. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am a bit hesitant. What's the difference between re reacio and reticente? Is there a difference? Not much? Not much. I am reluctant. I really don't want to do it, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily totally against it, but I don't, I'm not convinced. I'm reluctant to uh, call him. So reacio llamarles hasta que no tengamos más información. I am reluctant to call them until we have more information. That's right. It's too soon to call them because uh, uh, we don't have enough information. Mm -hmm. And really, I would prefer to contact them with reliable information, relevant information, and accurate information in hand. Mm -hmm. Because now, if we call them now, we just say, well, we're getting the information. We're just giving them a preliminary, just assuring them or reassuring them that we are doing our job, but we haven't done our job yet. Not until I have relevant and accurate information, okay, and reliable information, mm -hmm. okay, Accurate and reliable are very close. Mm -hmm. Then we can call him. But until that time, I'm reluctant. I'm reluctant to call. Okay. Ella es una persona ingeniosa. She is. Y con esto cortamos. Uh, she is a witty person? No, witty means ocurrente. She's a resourceful person. Oh, all right. Yeah. Ask me if I'm a resourceful person. Are you a resourceful person? Person. Person. <laughs> I try to be. Okay, resourceful. 
And um, Marco, the floor technician, is a resourceful person too, and he's telling me, corta. <laughs> okay, well, I'll be back in five minutes. Money, Jesus, I'm not sure. I may keep her, I may not. But nevertheless, I'll be back. So don't go too far away. Yeah.